The thing about travelling with archaeology was it realised that childhood ambition to go and do something adventurous with my life. And I got to work with some amazing people in all these different countries. It sets you up with a bunch of skills that you could take anywhere. You could go into archaeology, you could go into anthropology, you could go into languages, you can go to classical studies. But really, as, a, as an arts degree or as an arts science foundation, you could do anything with it. Studying the indigenous cultural heritage and its past helps to provide context that has been missing up until now. But if you wanted to go into, say, politics, or if you wanted to go into the allied health industry, indigenous health, or indigenous education, uh, if you wanted to work with NGOs, if you wanted to work in any of the the government or non-government organisations that link to the benefit of Aboriginal co communities in this country, then studying its past will give you a context and it'll give you a real foot up and an understanding of the challenges faced today. With archaeology, I initially thought it was about digging holes in the ground and finding skeletons and things like that, but what Adam taught us was that it's, it's more than that, it's about people and cultures and he was essentially like a 2017 Indiana Jones. It was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs>